YouTube, it's your boy Beth Superstar. We back with another video, a very special one at that. Today, my sneaker collection finally on YouTube. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've shown my sneaker collection ever on YouTube in five years. Um, some of the shoes I used to have, I wish I still had to this day. Most of the shoes in the collection. Wait, hold on, hold on. First of all, if you like, if you're here. Please like the video. This took hours, basically all day. It's about a five o'clock right now. I've been doing this since this morning. So um, it's 50 pairs of shoes. Should be 51. Well, really 50, because one of these ain't, ain't really no shoes. But um, And I got one that should be delivered today. So it's not gonna make it to the video, but I have the other shoe, so it is what it is. Yeah, like the video. Please don't dislike this video. You, you can go and dislike all the other ones, but not, but not this one. Um, share the video, tell a friend, tell another friend, tell another friend to subscribe. We on the road to 1K, boy trying to get paid. Comment down below if you like my sneaker collection or comment down below your favorite out of my collection. Um, ain't no off whites or no shit like that. That's what you came for, I'm sorry. Um, I'm broke. So, it is what it is. So yeah, first up, we got, um, how you say this, Giorgio Brutini. Um, these are just some dressable shoes in case I need to dress up your Next we got some sock darts. Um, I got these a long time ago for like twenty dollars from like a Nike outlet. Um, I think it was the one in St. Augustine. Um, so yeah, these are some red, some university red sock darts. I guess I don't know. Next we got the Safari. I'm pretty sure these Safari sock darts. The yellow. I think it was yellow, red, and like a gray color. I got these from Northern Rack when I first moved to Orlando. Next up, we got Harachis, South Beach Harachis. Um, I think I got these from The Loop. But like th these were like thirty dollars, and then discounts on discounts. So uh, these were cheap. Yeah, South Beach Harachis. Next, next up, we got the Red October things. I mean, they're not really Red Red October's. So Wu Gang, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Um, all Red Harachis. Next up, we got. Bolt and blue Harachi. I don't I don't know the colorway of these, but yeah, I got these from Nike Violent. You know, shout out to Violent team. Uh E. Next up we got some pure platinum Tailwind Fours. These shoes are comfortable as fuck. Like if you don't have a pair of Tailwind Fours, get some. Next we got now this might be my favorite colorway. Um I've never seen these until I bought the one pair for a friend and then I, I found these in my size and I think I've seen like two other people in Orlando with these ever or it's ever period so yeah uh, I'll call these the Phoenix Sun Sunburst next we got some Air Max 97 I think they call these the Joker <sighs> my girl love to call these the Burger King 97s but these not no Burger King these these are jokers and as you can see my dog done got a hold of these and chewed up my damn my shoelace next up we got the, the Volt I'm pretty sure these is Volt Air Max 90s or Air Max 3s as Nike's calling it now um yeah uh, I don't like how these look on my feet um I do love the shoe but I barely wear these I'm pretty sure I've worn these like twice next up our most recent pickup or one of them Air Max 1. I still don't know the name of these. Um, I'm probably going to have the name of the shoe at the bottom or something. So yeah, Air Max 1's. Next week, these shoes is dirty and they still wet because I, I tried to clean them today. Air Max Plus. Next up we got the Air Skyline 2, Fear of God. Um, again, I wore these to the dog park by accident one time. They got messed up. I tried to clean them. Um, and they had like some brown spots turned up. So it's either the water or something else, but um, I'm gonna have to get like a magic eraser because it worked some, but I'm gonna have to do it, do it again. I do need the black pair of these. Um, these were at Atlas for like seventy dollars. Next, we got Nike Red Element Eighty Seven. Uh, I don't know what colorway this is. It's kind of South Beach, but not really. But yeah, 
Element 87s. They still got another pair. Um, I think it's called an anthracite, I think. But yeah, I used to wear these to work when I was at a UPS. Um, so they kind of beat. Surprisingly, the bottom is not really that dirty, but yeah, these just a shoe I put on in case I need to go to like Walmart or something. Next up, we got Element 55. I think I got these from the Loop too. I only got these because like the the upper is different than any other ones I've ever seen. Um, I wish I would have got like okay, so I have weird feet. So the elements they are all 13. These are size 12. They fit. But like this back heel tab, it, it'd be hurting. So I don't know. So yeah, I wish this was at least a 12 and a half, but it is what it is. And we got another color of the 55s. I, I want to say this is a different material than the other ones as well. Um, but I just got them because they're black and I like the color. So yeah. Next up, we got another pair. I forgot I had these. Even though they're all on the ground, I really forgot I had these. But these are the ACG ones because of the dirt stain on that bit. I'm pretty sure I've only worn these ones. Um, the insole is kind of fun. It got like Phil Knight and Bowerman. So yeah, these are ACG it had like little ACG hang tag guy on there too. Um, I got these because of the color and because of the hang tag. So don't kill me. Um, yeah, I buy shoes if they have like accessories. It's not a good reason to be buying shoes. But next up, we got some Air Force Ones. Nike IDs. Um, these were a return. Um, so when people return Nike IDs, they go to the outlets. Um, we had like a whole shipment of Nike IDs at one point. I missed out on the Kyrie Six, the ones that look like the Solar Yeezys, but out of the ones that was left that was my size, I got these. Um, I fuck with them. Honestly, it's, this this would be probably the colorway that I would do. I probably would change some of these panels to other colors, but yeah, this is a me shoe, definitely. Next up, we got another pair of Air Force Ones. These would be Trues. Um, funny story about these, I wanted these in ACG pants. I bought them when they first came out. Then they got went on swoosh. I was gonna buy another pair just to have two. But I changed my mind, so I ended up paying retail for these when I didn't have to. But it is what it is. Nike Air Force One V True. Next we got Nike Air Force One Rucker Park. Um, these are cool because they got a little basketball lace lock on the front. These crease really easily, and the material it's not the best. But the swoosh is like a basketball. Uh, the tongue is like a basketball net. I, I feel like that's really cool. But um, yeah. Record parts. Next, I don't know why she threw me both of the shoes, but these are the South Korea Air Force Ones. This is for the soccer team. Um, I still need to press those of these. There's a guy at my job that has these that won't sell me his pair, but not these, but the Prestos. So I mean, they don't they don't go for much. I might buy them shits on home coat one day. But yeah, I like mismatched shoes that are together like if this was a like if this was if they had a pink pair and a blue pair i wouldn't wear them together but if they come like this i like them even better bars um yeah and on the insole it got the tiger stripes so yeah the shoelaces are 3m and i think something else on the shoe is 3m i think these tabs are 3m and then on the tongue as well so yeah and they come with an extra pair of shoelaces I wouldn't put those in just cause I like this look better. Then we got my girl's favorite pair of shoes in my collection most likely. Um, the Betty Boot, well these not even the Betty Boot. Um, these are Olivia Kim Air Force Ones and the midsole, it glows in the dark. I have the jersey shirt that matches this. My girl stole it from me, it won't let me wear it. But some more Be True shoes, these are 720s. There are a few more pairs of these that I want, but they never have my size anything, so it is what it is. Sometimes that's a good thing because I can save my money. Next up, we have the Stranger Things Cortez. Um, these are a little dirty. I had to wear them to the dark park again. Um, I only worn these once, I believe. But um, I was trying to clean them, and if you don't know, this material peels off. So when I was cleaning them, it was starting to peel off. Um, it's not really a problem, but I want to peel it off the way that I want to. I just don't know how I want to do it. 
I was thinking about doing like a reverse pattern. Like I might peel off this on this shoe and keep these on and then on the other shoe, keep this on and peel this off. But I don't know. Eventually I'll get around to it. I do want the blazers too. I like, I'd rather have the blazers of the knees, but, and these are comfortable and soft. So this is what it is. Next up, we got Nike PG4 Digi Camo. Um, if you've never had a pair of PG4s, I would say go a, a size, like a whole size, because the, the insole is thick and they run small. So I think these are 13. Yeah, these are 13. My true size is like 12, 12 and a half. Really, is 12 and a half. But these, I mean, they fit, but they kind of tight too. And I got wide feet. Um, so this is what it is. These are really my basketball shoes. When, but like after a game or two, I got to switch shoes anyways. Next up, we got probably my favorite shoe in my collection that I can't wear. Well, I can wear them, but I'm afraid to wear them. As you can see, um, the paint is chipping all around. I think the other shoe is worse. Yeah, at least the second time I had these Nike CB34s, Charles Barkley's. Next up, we got KD7 Eggnog. Um, these are going to survive because I feel like nobody is going to buy these. Um, it's like some defects and then there's parts ripped on both shoes. So, I might start hooping in these. Whoops. I've never played in KD7, so I don't know how they would play in, but I've seen people play, play in them. So I might test these out one day. Who knows? We'll see. But I've had these for a long time, probably since they originally came out, or like the couple months after. I know I didn't get them at retail. I got them under that. Next up, we got we got the Kobe NXT FF. I'm pretty sure the FF stands for Fast Fit or Fast and Fit or some shit. Um, bars. Used to hoop in these. Like I really bought these to to, to play basketball in. But once again, these these hurt my feet. So. After a game or two, I gotta switch shoes. Um, I'm gonna show y'all the shoes that, 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 that I hoop on the most in a second, but yeah. Kobe NXT FF. Next up, one of my only Kobe's I have left from like when I had a whole bunch of Kobe's, the Kobe 8 Christmas. Yeah, these shits is falling apart. I ain't even gonna lie. Um, I used to play basketball in these. I think I got these for like $70 like a couple years ago. Hopefully, the price on Kobe's, they start dropping soon because. I need to go back and get some that I used to have or I never had the chance to get. Next up, we got another Kobe shoe. I slept on Kobe shoe. Uh, this from his Adidas days. This is the Adidas, I'm gonna say Nike. Adidas Top 10 2000 Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, you see 12, 24, 12. Damn, this shoe came out in 2012. I had it ever since 2012. Jeez. Um, so this might be the oldest. This might be the pair I've had the longest of my collection. Um, I don't get to wear it. I don't really, really wear it. Um, I don't know why. The bottoms are glow in the dark and the Adidas logos, they glow in the dark as well. Um, I love this shoe. I wish I had some crazy age too. I'm out of the top 10, 2000. I think it's just this colorway and probably one or two other ones that I would buy. But um, yeah, a nightmare before Christmas. If you don't know about this shoe, you should know about this shoe. Now, for my hooping shoe, I got these for like $40 from one of my old uh, co-workers. I get buckets in these shoes. Nah, I'm lying, I'm trash. But um, yeah, the heel drag is starting to happen. I need some more gloves. But yeah, these are the Gary Payton gloves with the exo skeleton. You can see monkey paws for lockdown. It's on both sides, it, it holds your foot in place. Um, and you could uh, zip this up if you don't know, all the way up. So yeah, the glove, Nike the glove, shout out to Gary Payton. Yeah. Next up, my favorite pair of gloves. The rip, I'm pretty sure these are the first colorway that ever came out. But um, this is the second time that I've had these. Nike the gloves, the black and white and red colorway. The ones I just showed you, those called the Green Abyss, I think. I don't, I don't know what the colorway name of these go. Next up, we got the Memphis Tiger, the Nike Zoom Rickies. Um, what the fuck? Anyways, I don't know where the fuck that shit came from. But, um, yeah, I like a Rickies. Um, I got these because of the Tiger Stripes and the Baby Blue. Uh, my favorite animal, my favorite color. 
in the same shoe, no brainer. So yeah, I wish the upper was black instead of this light bone gray, I guess you would call it, a bone gray. I mean, a skeleton bone gray. Next up, another most recent pickup. If you didn't watch my last video, go and check that out. These shit's gonna be glowing by the time I put these shits down. But anyways, Nike Zoom Ricky glow in the dark. Um, yeah, if you wanna know about these, go check out my last video. Um, the card would have been about the beginning of the video. So just, just go back or just click on my channel, subscribe if you haven't already, and go watch my last video. But yeah, these brand new, I got two pairs of these. Two pairs of these, as you can see, it's both the same size shoe, so your boy got two. So yeah, two pairs of these. Am I gonna keep both of them? We'll see. Um, I do love this shoe. I need some more rookies. Um, Galaxy rookies probably next on my hit list, so stay tuned for that. I've had them before. They were too small, so I need another pair. So yeah, Galaxy rookies, glow in the dark. Next up, we got Dr. Doom Phone Posits. Um, when I first got into sneakers and phone posits, I always wanted these and the UNCs. Like 2012 is, is when I really started buying shoes. Um, and I was, always wanted to go back and get these. These, the UNCs and the Columbia Blue 11s was always like, oh, and the infrared the sixes. They all came out like 2000 to like 2006. So I always wanted to go, to go back and get those, but then these came out again. So I didn't get them when they released. But I, I did get them on go. If you didn't watch that video, it's on the channel. Next up, one of my most disappointing pickups ever, probably. Um, Easy phones. This is probably my second or third pair. I don't remember. I know this shoe and another shoe I've had like three times. Pink phones I have it twice. I had it twice. I don't have those no more. The Christmas Kobe 7s, I had those twice. And then the UNC 14, I had those three times. Twice at the same, well, the second time I had my head, a size 12 and a 12 and a half at the same time. But anyway, so yeah, I got these on go. If you didn't watch the video, um, it's on, it's just on my channel, man. Just go through, binge watch me with your boy. Support me, subscribe if you haven't already. I like this video, share this video, tell a friend, tell another friend, tell another friend. We trying to hit 1K, boy trying to get paid. But anyway, yeah, so I, I got these for a good deal, I guess. But when I got them to open the box, these shit smell like toes, corn chips, Cheetos, everything. Fritos. Fritos, Doritos, knees, toes, elbows. They smell terrible. So the smell is basically gone, but the bottom, I'm gonna have to go get these iced. So the, I mean, they, I believe that they still glow. I'm trying to charge them up right quick. But this part in the middle, it still glows, and then all the a yellow part don't glow. But hopefully, I can I can get them iced and they start to glow again. But since I bought them on go, I haven't worn them yet. Next up, we got the UNC to Chicago Air Jordan One. Um, these are size 14 women, so they're like a little bit too big but i couldn't get a 13 and a half so a 12 and a half is my true suit with a, a 12 and a half is my true shoe size so these run a little bit well these are like a little bit too big but i don't like how ones look on my feet so i barely wear these so air jordan one and summer mondays like i was saying it's my second time i had these first time i sold my pair and then i found another pair for cheaper um so this is what it is, so I, so I just bought it again. Next up, another pair of Air Jordan 3s that people hate, um, the Animal Instinct 1.0s. Um, I put red shoelaces in them, because the eyelets right here are red, and it's animal print. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not real animal print, but if it was, unfortunately, the animal had to die, so the blue, I mean the blue, so the red laces represent the blood that they gave. That's kind of dark, I'm sorry. Um, oh, the red laces match the insole. That's what I'm gonna say. Yeah, and then it's like an orange, see through, see through. Am I, am I two years old? Orange translucent back tab. Um, yeah, I like animal print, and these these are definitely a me shoe. Next up, we got the Air Jordan Five Top Three. I like it with the white laces. Um, shout out to Bullet RC. 
Um, I seen his on feet with the white laces. But I think before, nah. Hey, did I see a picture? I feel like I seen a picture first, and then he put the white laces on. Or maybe I just watched watch his video. I don't know, but these with just with just the black laces, they don't do it for me. These with the white laces, I always get compliments whenever I wear these because the white laces they do look better. So yeah, it just helps the theme, I guess. I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's just me, I guess. Next up, we got Air Jordan Six Denim. People were like dying, dying in black, bleaching it, distressing it. Um, I don't got time for all that, so no lie, but these black denim probably be fine. I, I know a lot of people hate this shoe, but I like it. And on feet, these should be hitting on feet. Next up, Air Jordan 6 Karma. I don't gotta talk about these. These shoes just came out. I have another pair that I don't have a hand, so I have two of these. Nike Air in the back, though. Next up, the shoe that fell apart on me. This is the second pair I had. Um, I bought these on eBay. They was basically still brand new. The bottom was still clean. It had the original paper in them. Um, I wore them one time to the mall. Um, I think I posted a video. I'm pretty sure. Because I was wearing these when I was recording a video. So, yeah, the Peapod Jordan 8s. You can see they crumbling, they're falling apart. Um... The bottom actually fell out too, but yeah. this might be my one of my favorite Jordans of all time. Easy phone pauses. I still gotta get the white pair and the all red pair to, to complete the set. Next up, we got Jordan Ten Shadows. Just one of my favorite Jordan Tens. I'm in love with the Countdown Pack, but the price on those too much, so I just got these. I traded these for a Travis Scott shirt and like fifty dollars. $40? Yeah, a Travis Scott shirt of $40. A Travis Scott shirt at $40. Um, at the time, the Travis Scott shirt was going for like $40, $50. So I got these for under 100 technically. It's one of my favorite 10s of all time. So I had to get these Jordan 10 shadows. Mm -hmm. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 10 Royal. Um, the box is like TXT, Air Jordan 10 TXT. So um, I don't know what to take what the TX, the TXT stands for, but um, most Jordan Tens don't have the patent leather right here. I'm pretty sure that these are the only ones. Um, yeah, what the hell is this one? Oh, anyways, if you don't know, I'm sure the bottom of these because the bottom of these got some stickers on it. But yeah, if you don't know all the Jordan's accomplishments on the bottom of the shoe. Up to 94 is on here because that's when he retired to go play baseball. I like this shoe. This is the second time I had this shoe. It's a dope shoe and you don't see these every day. Next up, we got the Air Jordan 13 Altitude. Now, I don't know if these are reflecting, but they supposed to. That's why I bought this pair instead of the ones that came out recently. I got these on GoTo. If you haven't watched the video, go watch it. But yeah, this is one of them shoes that I always wanted, so. And second to last, a Jordan 13 Island Green. I got these from the outlet. Um, I still need the fives. I think I like the fives better than these, but these will do for now. Um, I don't know if this is an alligator or crocodile skin. It's one of them. And then the Island Green is just pop. So it's it's a it's a clean shoe. 13 and this normally it has a hollow ground, but this one is metal or hard plastic. So yeah, Air Jordan 13 Island Green. Last but not least, another outlet shoe. Most of these shoes are freaking outlet shoes, honestly. But Air Jordan 14 Quilted or Ferrari or Blackfriar, whatever you want to say. Um, pretty sure this is the only 14 with this material upper. And then the other side is, is, is a quilted pattern on there. I ain't gonna lie, I love 14s. 14 is probably one of my favorite shoes of all the time. I need some more 14s, so if you got a size 12, 12 and a half and some 14s, holla at me, man. Hit me up on Instagram at Basketball Superstar, or I leave a comment, you know, I need some more Jordan 14s. I need a lot more stuff, honestly. But, um, that's gonna do it for this video. 50 pairs of shoes. I don't know how long the video is gonna be. Um, I'm gonna try to keep it under 20 minutes. That's probably not gonna happen, but 20, 25 minutes. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. 
you like the video, leave a thumbs up. Just like the video, leave a thumbs down. Share the video, tell a friend, tell another friend, tell another friend to subscribe. We're on the road to 1K. Your boy trying to get paid. Comment down below what's your favorite shoe in my collection. I'm going to do another video at the end of the year. Most likely this will be double, if not triple. Hopefully it's not quadruple because that's way too many freaking shoes in one, in one year. Most of these shoes, at least 40, at least 45 of these shoes I've gotten once I moved down to Orlando. So in like a year, year and a half, I bought all these shoes. It is what it is, man. It's your boy Love Superstar signing out. Y'all be breezy, man. All right.